Hello, this is Jim Groom, um, and I'm here to talk to you about um, installing Mastodon on Reclaim Cloud with our one-click installer that um, Taylor Jaden had created a few months back, and I we already have some documentation, but I figured a video may further help that process. So without further ado, let's look at what that process is and talk a little bit about what Mastodon is and why you might use it. So um, this is Reclaim Cloud, and this is the interface where we'll do the installation, but I guess it might be worth mentioning that um, Mastodon is a decentralized, federated social network akin to something like Twitter, maybe without the centralization and the potential of it being bought, etc. cetera. Um, you don't necessarily need to set up your own Mastodon server to have a Mastodon account. You can run it on one of many servers out there. So this tutorial really is for people who want to run their own Mastodon server. Um, and that's what we make possible with Reclaim Cloud. If you're just looking for an account on another server, there's plenty out there. Um, feel free to look around and play with that. So um, that's Mastodon. It has become for many a nice alternative to Twitter. And um, this is what we're gonna be installing. This documentation that Taylor already wrote takes you through step by step pretty much everything I'm going to talk about in this video. So if you need this, um, I will include a link in the video um, to this documentation so that you can find it. Finally, um, we're going to go to Reclaim Cloud and I do have a link for this here prepared. This is where you can go to reclaim.cloud, sign up for an account, and then use this interface to install Mastodon. Okay, so let's do it. Um, we can do this by going to our marketplace, which is up here. Um, and you'll see also it's right here. And I'm gonna click on the marketplace and I'm gonna search for Mastodon. And hopefully, yes, without further ado, you see there up in the left, it is there. And I then get um, basically asked to say, here's the details, here's the fields for installing Mastodon, what do you want the domain name to be? And this is kind of important because the domain name, um, once you install this app, you want to establish a domain name before. You don't want to go back and change it. It makes it very difficult, if impossible. So I would say decide on your domain before you install Mastodon. This is a test, but I am still going to show you how to map a domain. So I'm going to call this elephant.bavatuesdays.com. So that's going to be my domain. The environment name is pretty much anything that makes it easy for you. So I'm going to go elephant. It could be Mastodon. It could be what have you. It doesn't matter. Um, you'll notice this is saying the UK region. So it's elephant.uk.reclaim.cloud. You can decide here what region you want it to be. US East, West, Canada, UK, and Germany coming soon. Um, so that's the option. I'm gonna keep mine in the UK. And then the display name, I'm just gonna call it Elephant Mastodon. And this is what shows up in Reclaim Cloud as this environment is called Elephant Mastodon. Anyway, you can name that whatever you want. The real important piece here is to make sure you establish what domain you want before um, you install the app. Okay, now that I'm doing that, I'll click install. Now this will take a little bit um, to install and this is basically um, going through, getting the container and making everything happen. In the interim, a couple of things we're gonna wanna prepare is a pointing the domain to this environment. So wherever you host your domain, right? You can host your domain on a couple of things. If you have a cPanel account, you can manage your DNS and domain through cPanel. Um, I have a good example of that right here. So if you go here, this is my cPanel account, and these are a bunch of different domains and subdomains I have. If I wanted to add another one, I would just click on create a domain, and I can then go elephant, dot baba tuesdays dot com and then click submit and once i do that i will basically um, be given a place 
to add the IP address. And that's what we'll get when Mastodon finishes installing. If you don't have cPanel and you use, it, use another service, for example, like uh, Cloudflare, which is something I use as well as cPanel, um, you can go to Cloudflare and you can add records there. So you can go there, you can call this elephant, and then once we have the IP address, we'll add it there. Um, you don't do both. You choose wherever your DNS is being managed, and that's where you would add it. So that's for adding a custom domain. And let's see where we're at with the installation. It's still working. Um, so it will take a second, and when it's done, we will go through the rest of this. And so now it has been installed successfully. And you'll see once it is, you get this series of messages, which are pretty important, so pay attention. Um, there is a link to the article, the support article that we'll look at that Taylor wrote. And then there's the command line, which uh, will allow you to create an admin account. And this is something you're gonna wanna copy and then fill in the username, where it says all caps username, and the email, where you wanna put in the username and email you want, it will create the account and give you the password, so be sure to get that information. And then there's more information about configuring SMTP mail and S3 storage, both of which you're gonna to wanna to use for a Mastodon server if you're running that. And we'll deal with that in a separate video, but for this one, we're just gonna get up and running. And finally, and very important for the custom domain mapping is the IP address. Um, so I'm gonna copy that IP address because that's going to be the next piece is we're going to point the domain um, elephant.babatuesdays.com to this environment. So we have all this. This will also come as an email. So don't worry about that. It will still be in your email. So you can close this out. We can get rid of the marketplace interface. And we should now see an environment called Elephant Mastodon. And this is where our Mastodon is installed. Um, so the other thing to keep in mind, I copied that IP address, but it's also here within the Docker instance underneath the node. This is that same IP address. So I'm going to now go back to my cPanel in zone edit. And then there we're going to find Baba Tuesdays, and then we're going to look for the elephant. And once we do find the elephant in the room, and I guess rather than searching, I'm just going to, or rather than browsing, I'm going to search. And I'm going to edit now what is the default cPanel IP. I'm going to put in the IP of this server and then save it. And we should be good to go for our domain being mapped. So I've done that. The other thing you'll notice, and let's go back to that email. So here's my email. And if I go here, I'll see the Mastodon is up and running. And I'll click on that. And this will actually give me that information. And I am now going to grab this command line. I'm going to put my username as Jim Groom. And then I'm going to put my email as Jim at reclaim hosting.com and then confirmed role owner and that's it. So once I've made those changes to that information, that's going to allow me to put um, create an admin account and associate it with an email. So that's the next step. I go back to Reclaim Cloud and we have this handy dandy SSH um, interface right there. So I can just go in and I'll be able to copy that um, command into my environment like this. And it will basically create that user. It will spit out the password, which I'm not too worried about you all seeing because I'm gonna get rid of this environment anyway. But this is basically um, creating the account. So there we go. We have that password, which I am going to copy for the time being. And um, we are now set. So we've mapped the domain, um, elephant.babatuesdays.com. We have created an admin account. And if everything is working, <laughs> and we will see, it's a big if, should everything be working, I can now go to elephant.babatuesdays.com and I should see a clean 
um, Mastodon instance. And it's not up yet, and this is actually something you'll run into, so it's a good demonstration. When you map a domain, you have to restart the server. Um, and so this is talked about in the Mastodon um, tutorial or kind of guide that Taylor wrote up. And one way to do that is to copy this command, which will basically change your directory into the Mastodon directory and then take all your Docker containers, turn them off or basically spin them down and then spin them back up. And after that happens, your Mastodon should work. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to the SSH and then we're going to change the directory. It's going to automatically spin everything down. And then after that, it should now give me the prompt to say, do you want to spin everything up? And I just says yes. And all things being equal now, when I go back to that 500 internal error, I should now be able to refresh it and see a fresh instance of Mastodon. So let us see if that worked. Um, it may, it didn't. So hold on, let me go back. I think the case is always don't be too impatient because it takes a little bit for um, that to keep to go down and come up, etc. So um, I'm gonna just wait a second. And there it is. So one of the lessons from this tutorial, if nothing else is patience is a virtue. And also if you're mapping a domain, you do have to spin down and then spin back up the Macedon instance. A couple of things um, worth noting is you should at this point then go into the environment file. And again, we'll have another tutorial for this and use offload media. If you're hosting your own Macedon server to something like, you know, DigitalOcean Spaces, Amazon S3, your own hosted Minio, whatever you want to do. But I would not host the media on your server because it gets too big too quickly. And then you're going to want to use a um, basically a transactional email service, something like Mailgun, um, that will actually manage and send out emails for people who sign up, etc. And that's essential. But again, that will be another tutorial, as will the commands to actually update to the next or latest version of Mastodon, which is made pretty simple with this instance. Um, and it's just a series of commands you run at the SSH. So all that said, this is um, Mastodon one click install on Reclaim Cloud. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck with it. If you have questions, you know where to go. Reclaim support will help you out.